Hi, my name's Matt and I'd like to welcome you to this Zinyak video. This is part of our ITIL for Specialist Drive Stakeholder Value training course and it is the introduction to that training course which is part of our bundle of courses that will enable you to get the ITIL Managing Professional designation. So right at the beginning we'll just have a quick look on the slide at the copyright statements for Axlos. Axlos are very protective of their intellectual property so we have those copyright statements there and then we'll have a look at our nice badge from people saying that we are a ITIL accredited training organization so obviously you're in safe hands. We're now going to look at the ITIL4 certification overview. If you want to obtain the ITIL Managing Professional certification, the, there are two primary pathways to achieve that. The first one is you take ITIL Foundation, that's the prerequisite for all the other training courses and exams, and then you take the three ITIL Specialist training courses of which this is one. So we take create, deliver and support, drive stakeholder value, high velocity IT. You can then take the ITIL strategist, direct plan and improve, course and exam, and that will give you that certificate, but also the ITIL for managing professional designation and certificate as well. You do have to take a training course before you take the exam, for this ITIL specialist and ITIL strategist exam. So having attended an online or a, a classroom or a virtual training course is a uh, mandatory for those exams. It's not for ITIL for foundation, so you can just take that yourselves if you so wish. Although the price we charge for the training course and the exam is less than uh, many organisations charge just for the exam, so you might as well do the training course with us as well. It is uh, hopefully of some help to you. Anyway, the uh, the alternative is if you are an ITIL version 3 expert or you had enough points to take the managing across the life cycle exam, so you were almost at the expert stage, you can just take the ITIL 4 managing professional transition training course and exam and that will give you the ITIL Managing Professional Certification as well. So you've got those two options. The other pathway open to you is ITIL Strategic Leader. So if you've if you've done Managing Professional already, you will have the ITIL Strategist Direct Plan and Improve qualification, and then you will just need to take the ITIL Leader Digital and IT Strategy qualification. That is a little different because it's not just an exam. It's also a tutor-based assessment. So if you did it with Zindiac, then I would be assessing you on those elements that are tutor assessed. So there's these two elements that are slightly different. The others, the ITIL specialist, the ITIL strategist, are just straight 40 question exams that we will see shortly. So in terms of the publication, there is a Drive Stakeholder Value publication, of which some of it is examinable, obviously some of it isn't. It's defined in the syllabus what that is. And the syllabus is, is comprised of that examinable material and also material from the practices that are particularly relevant to that publication. And you can see the eight there listed on the slide. I won't read them all out, but you can see the eight practices that are covered in the Drive Stakeholder Value Training Course and Exam. The exam itself is the same as for all other ITIL4 Managing Professional exams. There are 40 questions. They are standard four option multiple choice questions. Bloom's Level 2 or 3, if you haven't come across Bloom's Level, there are four Bloom's Level 1 are the easy questions. There are none of those, but four of the most difficult questions, there aren't any of those, so they're kind of the mid-range questions. The pass mark is 70% or 28 out of 40. My recommendation is you want to be scoring close to 35 in the sample exams before 
you take the actual exam. That would, should give you confidence that you're ready to take the actual exam and that you're a very good chance, very likely to, to pass. It's 90 minutes long. If you are taking the exam in your non-native language, so if you're taking it in English and English isn't your native language, you get 25% extra time, so you get 113 minutes. In my experience, very few people if any, use that each time, but if it's there for you, it's there for you. It's a closed book exam, so you're not allowed any materials, you're certainly not allowed the ITIL for guidance, and the prerequisites, as I mentioned before, are an ITIL 4 foundation certificate, and it has to be an ITIL 4 foundation, so you can't go from ITIL version 3 foundation straight to an ITIL specialist course, you have to take the ITIL 4 foundation first, and you have to attend an accredited training course of which this is the introduction of our accredited training course. And finally, we just look at the syllabus topics. And as you can see on the slide, obviously, you can see the breakdown of the 40 exam marks. But the, the syllabus and the course covers predominantly the customer journey. So it's broken down. We cover each of the customer journey steps, explore, engage, offer, agree, onboard, co-create, and realize value. So we start off with an introduction to what customer journeys are all about and how important they are, and then we cover each step. So this really is drive stakeholder value, really is the customer journey qualification. So if you're particularly interested in customer journeys, this is, this is the one to take. And I think in some ways this is probably... The, the newest or the most new bit of ITIL 4 in terms of the different specialist qualifications because certainly um, the customer journey wasn't part of ITIL version 3 at all. That wasn't covered there. So that brings us to the end of this brief introduction. I hope you found it useful. I hope it's encouraged you to take the exam if you haven't already um, bought the course and the exam. I hope you'll go to zindiac.co.uk and purchase our course and exam and learn all about the customer journey and gain your drive stakeholder value qualification until you see me again have a great day